I'm going to describe the problem I was having with my uh, Tahatsu 40 horsepower, but the same problem could happen with just about any motor, and that was that I was getting losing a uh, cylinder. Obviously, when I started up, I couldn't get the motor, the boat up on plane, and then as it warmed up, you could tell it would just sort of switch in slowly, a little bit at a time, and then eventually, when it was warm, I'd have three cylinders and I'd go fine. Um, but then. Recently I got in and I went uh, quite a ways and it, it, the third cylinder never came back on. I read about other people having the same problem and the general consensus was that it was a bad coil or a bad power pack or something else expensive. I'm going to show you how it was a free thing and easy to fix and I have absolutely no doubt that if I had taken it to somebody to fix it they would have charged me $350 and put in a bunch of new parts. Okay, even if you know nothing about motors, you could fix this. Um, if you take off the cover of your motor, you'll find the spark plugs here. And most modern motors have coils which create the spark, which are connected to them. That's this one, this motor has three cylinders one, two, three spark plugs. And each spark plug has a coil with a spark plug wire coming out of it. So I'm going to just recreate, recreate the problem and I'll show you how first to determine which one of the cylinders isn't firing. It still sounds pretty good but it's only running on two cylinders and I'm going to show you by unplugging uh, the spark plugs one at a time and listening to what it does to the motor you can tell whether that's the bad cylinder or not. First one I'm going to unplug is the top cylinder and that one's working fine and it should make a difference when I unplug it. So what that tells you is that it's not the top cylinder. When I unplugged it, it killed the motor. So let me show you. The next one down is the one that I'm having problems with, and I'll unplug it. You'll see it doesn't make any difference, which tells you that that's the cylinder that's not firing. So you can see when I unplugged it, it didn't make any difference in the way it was running. So that tells me that the second cylinder wasn't running. That's what it did on mine. So I'll show you how I fixed it. So I initially thought, well, it must be one of these coils. And I was going to take one coil off the top and move it down to the middle and see if that would make it work, which would tell me it's the coil and I need a new coil. That's what I assumed. But then I started wiggling these and this one's solid, and this one's solid, and then this one was all floppy. And what I found out is that it needs to be grounded. And so I got my 10 millimeter out. And I just tightened this nut up, or bolt really. So make that snug, make sure the other ones are snug, because it wasn't getting grounded, so it wasn't making spark. Once I tightened it up, start it up, and now it's running just fine. Mmm, yummy. Um, so, hopefully, uh, that, if you are having a problem with your engine missing uh, on a cylinder, maybe it is something simple like that. Uh, before you take it to someone who will for sure charge you hundreds of dollars to tighten a bolt, um, do some of those things. Switch, switch one of those coil packs around if you have to, or you know, see what you can figure out on your own. Good luck.